Hi, everyone. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to show you some pre preliminary results that we got from a project that I'm carrying out with Carles and Ines, titled Chromosomal Inversion and Local Adaptation in Sympatric Quails. Uh, common quails are migratory birds that live uh, in grassland, both natural, uh, natural and uh, anthropogenic, and they are widely distributed in all the Paleoarctic region. But in this study, we focus on samples from the Iberian Peninsula, from Italy, from Morocco, and from the Macaronesian Island. In this region, there are different phenotypes, and the two phenotypic traits that are variable are the male throat coloration. There are some individuals that are dark, others that are fair. Uh, but there are some intermediate um, individuals as well. Another variable trait is the wing shape, that there are some that have rounded wings, others that are pointed, and the wing shape is known to be related with the fly efficiency and therefore with the migratory behavior or potential of this, some of this species. Um, in a previous unpublished project, uh, we sequenced 95 samples with genotyping by sequencing from the region that I told you. And the uh, PCA showed the, that they separated into three different clusters, as you can see here. This cluster, the C1, is exclusive to a SOR, uh, while the other two are present in all the distributions. Distribution but cluster B, uh, mainly in the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula, in Morocco, and the Macaronesian Island, while the other, cluster A, uh, in <coughs> the northern part of this, this, this distribution. Um, after that, we related this cluster with the phenotypic trait that I told you before. And um, in relation to the wing shape, we can see that this cluster A, those samples, have a more pointed wing that should confer them um, higher migratory potential, while in the other two clusters, uh, wings are more rounded, more similar to this one. In relation to the stroke coloration, we can see that in, the, in cluster A, uh, most samples are fair, while in the other two, uh, most are dark. Um, as cluster C is exclusive to a SOR, in the following analysis, we didn't uh, consider this. We just compared these two. So, uh, the in this Manhattan plot, where you can see along this axis the genetic differentiation, and along this one the different chromosomes, you can see that there is a large region in chromosome one with a high number of SNPs that are outlier and they are likely to be under selective pressure. Uh, we think that this um, region could represent uh, an inversion and uh, there is a growing, growing uh, evidence in other taxa that inversion are, um, play an important role in local adaptation, and that they, for example, in rainbow throat, the inversion are important, well, they um, play a, a role as they determine if a, a population is migrant or is resident. And uh, in other cases, in inversion are related with the pigmentation or the coloration of individuals. Uh, therefore, in this project, we wanted to identify the breakpoints of this putative inversion. Uh, to do this, we sequenced the whole genome of 16 individuals that were homozygous, homozygous for or, um, or without the inversion. And we considered six from cluster A and 10 from cluster B. Uh, we extracted DNA from blood samples. We constructed library here in LEM. 
and then we sequence it in with Illumina ISEC. And after obtaining the, the raw read, we pre-process the data and we map them against the Japanese quail, quail genome as there is no genome available for the common quail. Then we call variants and finally we obtain um, 18 million SNPs that allowed us to carry out uh, some uh, population structure analysis such as PCA and Admister. So um, the PCA revealed that the main division was between sample without the inversion that were the previous cl cluster A and those with the putative inversion. Uh, moreover, inside this group, we can see that there are two clusters that are, that are present just in Madeira, which is uh, these two samples, uh, just in Tenerife, and uh, a main group we sample both from Morocco, the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula, and from the other Canarian island. Um, it's important to notice that it, this group and this group have sample that um, um, proceed from the same locality. They are not as, um, separated geographically. So um, after that we carry out, carry out some analysis with a mixture where, well, where we can see a similar pattern with K, uh, K set to, to two the main separation is among individual without and with inversion and with K set to 4 uh, those samples from Tenerife and Madeira these ones are separated from the other <coughs> samples um, so uh, we realized a compari uh, comparison among uh, this group the one without the inversion and this one, the main group with inversion. And um, as you can see, as in, in this Manhattan plot, uh, we see a very large region, the same one as in the previous one, that is a very large differentiation compared to the rest of the genome. And um, moreover, we see other um, regions that could be other structural variants or they could be under um, like for example this one under some kind of selection so the shape of this um, region the putative inversion is like I uh, U, as you can see better here that is con compatible with the idea of um, with the fact that there could be some recombination in among sample with and without the inversion. Um, well, this could occur because um, the um, chromosome without the inversion can recombine with the one with the inversion because the last one could form like a, a loop and so the central part of the inversion can um, experience some recombination while the extreme parts, the breakpoints, can't. So after that, we realized some other comparisons, like with the main group with the inversion against uh, one of those groups, in this case, the, the cluster with sample from Tenerife. And on chromosome one, we see this trend that is, uh, suggests that there is recombination. Uh, in this plot, there, is, there are many differentiated regions and there is a high variability but this one could be due to the fact that we have just two samples in, in this cluster. On the other side, if we compare samples inside the group without the inversion, we see that on the chromosome one uh, there is no sign of this inversion. And therefore, if we um, see this plot, uh, it would indicate that there is no, there is no recombination. Uh, but there are other regions 
there could be some other structural variants. So we don't know, well, we are still thinking what it could be, how we could explain what we obtain. Um, we want to complement it with other approaches or with other indexes. And if you have any suggestions, well, we, we would love to hear it. So thank you. <laughs>